What's going on guys? Big PP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, customer sent me his all-in-one and now he's got a touch edition. Stay tuned. All right guys, you know the drill. If you are not following me on all the social media, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. I actually have a very good trend going on um, as far as, you know, when videos get uploaded to when they get, you know, when I film them. Um, so if you were following, you would have seen this way before this video actually goes out. I have it set right now to about maybe a once or twice video a week because I am busy. Uh, you know, I'd rather have a consistent flow of videos. So I do have a lot of videos lined up, but I have it set to premiere and show once a week again if you did follow on instagram you would have seen like live when i go on my instagram stories it's live 24 you know it only, it's only up for 24 hours for the stories you would have seen this exact build here you would have seen me getting it unboxing it testing a couple of things mostly some of the newer side of things that i just added to this and you would have actually seen me going in and actually attempting and trying out sfte on current windows 10 versions should be a short and sweet video but you know me i like to talk uh did a couple add-ons this actually is going out to a buddy in a facebook group by the name of derek he's very well known actually around even on like the arcade punk very active user so he hit me up in our group there was a big rush of touchscreen stuff and uh you know people see that i have my touch edition and people inquired derek went the extra step he actually purchased an all-in-one pc he had it shipped directly to me and said hey vic do your thing and we're all set and good. So I'll give you a little bit of background on Derek and the whole situation with this actual PC. I did add a couple of things. He said to me, hey Vic, you have about a week or two to kind of finalize it. I don't need it in a rush. I said, okay, cool. I'll probably try a couple of things, a couple of new things. You know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But uh, basically he has a couple of small additions than my past versions, which honestly is very easy to add on, but it's pretty cool. Send me the PC, I got it up and running. I'm gonna tell you the background to the PC itself and the journey with that. And we'll go in and check out the new add-ons. So I'm gonna start this video by talking about the importance of Windows 10 version 1909. I'm really happy because recently I did actually attempt SFTE on current gen Windows versions. And I'm gonna cut right to the chase. It was a God awful experience. I was using SFTE on my current gen windows on my my main PC rig. I'm talking an i7 3070 with 32 gigs of RAM. The speed on this on the SFTE side, it was awful. Not to mention the attract mode videos. It was all pixelated. It uses shockwave. It was a awful experience. So I get this question a lot, and I always say it in my videos. It is very important if you are inquiring about a touch edition, whether you want a drive or if you want a PC, it will forever have Windows 10 version 1909. I did have people hit me up and go, oh, it does work on current gen Windows, you should try it. I tried it and nope, you could count me out. The big thing again, if you, if you are looking at this and you look at your current PC that you're using now, I guarantee you, you are not running Windows 1909. You're probably upgraded. Windows 1909 is the last version of Windows that utilizes Flash. After 1909, Windows removes Flash. And as you can see with all like the attract videos, it is utilizing Flash Player. Again, just so you don't understand what's happening. Now, Vic, I have a current gen Windows PC, or Vic, what did you do to this PC? I downgraded it. Really, actually, this PC, when it got to me, this was actually running Windows 10 1903. So I don't really know how recent you know, the seller worked on this PC, but this was running Windows 1903. I upgraded it to Windows 1909. Then I actually do stuff in the background to disable Windows Update to ever happen again. So this PC right now is set at Windows 1909. So I'm gonna show you like a quick snippet that I took of me running current Windows 10. But before I do it, let me show you what I, the biggest things that I did notice. Number one, definitely the attract mode videos it would have to be redone than what I have. It just was like, it looked awful. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna show you after I show you this. The other thing I did notice was the responsiveness of switching pages and tabs. As you can see right now, I am flying. 
I'm, I'm going. When I ran it on Windows 10 Current, I would press and I had to wait like 10 seconds. And not to mention, in the video, I'm gonna probably show it now, in the video that you see here, I didn't even have all the games, number one, set up. I didn't have, I didn't have anything set up besides two like main systems in the beginning, like two games. What's going on guys, Vic VP here. Just wanted to check you out real quick. STFE, simple touch, right? On a current Windows, this is awful. So originally STFE needed Flash Player. That's why in my videos I say you do need Windows 1909. The newer version, there's no more Flash, so now they do allow GIFs. And as you can see, converting my Flash file to GIF, it looks like that. Not to mention, there is a big slowdown. I'm gonna click this right now. There is a delay here, and I only have two GIFs. Imagine if the whole page was full of GIFs. No. Let me bring you back to my other computer. You're going to see the regular STFE. So now I'm on my test bench PC running Windows 1903. Up to 1909 works with Flash. And look at this. I'm able to bounce. I'm able to go back. Look. Seamlessly. Flawlessly. So. No go on STFE on a newer Windows. It's, I don't think it's worth it. I only have two. On, as you saw my other PC, and I'm using that on my main rig. That's a 3070, 32 gigs of RAM, i7, one terabyte SSD uh, on that. This one right here, I'm actually doing this off of an external drive. So, nope. It looks like I'm sticking to Windows 1909 for all my touchscreen builds. So, for me to even not have it like configured and for it to be that slow, I threw in the flag, I said, nope, I will never do it. I will forever use Windows 1909. And as I said, I'm right now, I'm flipping through stuff. I'm, there's no delay. So while I give you the background to the PC, I'll play a couple of games in the background. Um, we'll just, I'll, I'll launch games randomly, just kind of showing off the new games and stuff. I really won't play them, but at least we'll kind of launch them and such. So it was basically going back and forth with Derek. Derek, you know, Derek said, hey Vic, what do you suggest as far as the PC specs? I always have my basics. Um, he even went the route of like, foot? Oh, footprint. Cool, all right, that's not, I, I lost on that. But he even went the route of like sending me eBay links and that's cool, I'm down for it, but I don't really like enjoy that too much because it's just a whole influx of links. I basically always say the basics. You do need an i5 or an i7. Definitely you want 16 gigs of RAM. He's big on Bluestacks. So I did say, so listen, you want Bluestacks, I highly recommend and suggest that you do 16 gigs of RAM. He did find a lot of i5 and eight gig of RAM. I said, dude, I know you want Bluestacks. You should just, you know, buckle down and search and find 16 gigs of RAM. Then also the main important thing is the SSDs. Uh, this right now is running a 512 gig SSD. Usually I try to find one terabyte. He was finding a lot of six gigs, i3s, one terabyte hard disk drives. In this day and age now, it's been so long since I've actually had a hard, an HDD, a hard disk drive as a boot. Just the boot times on those are brutal. So we were going back and forth and the big thing that he did notice was like, you know, hey Vic, these are expensive. Even when they are old units like this and refurbished, it is what it is. It's very difficult to find these at an affordable rate. I believe on this one right here, he has right now an i5 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD. After it was shipped, I believe this was around 650 to 680 just to ship it to me. That's just the PC alone. And yes, this is refurbished hardware. It's, it's actually a G3. It's an elite one, uh, very nice. Awesome, you know, it's it's great. It's got even like the pivot screen and it could go up and down. It's really nice for its age. But again, granted, it's still expensive. Now, if you did go current gen though, that you're really, you're looking at double, almost triple the price. The biggest thing is to find touch screen ones. I kind of scour, I have right now a customer that is wanting in touch screen edition, a touch edition, and just to find a touch screen Elite One, it's difficult. Like I said, always be sure, and I was telling Derek, you know, he sent me two links, and I said, dude, message the, the seller, make sure these are touch screens. I don't care if it says it in the description or in the title, 
just take that extra step and ask them if it's touch screen. I personally had that issue where it said touch and I got sent a non-touch and I had to do the whole return process. It was a god awful nightmare. So you definitely want to be careful with that. Now again, Derek started out and was like, hey Vic, you know, how much is it if I buy it from you? And I gave him a price and I was like, you know, it is what it is. We didn't really realize or he didn't really realize how much the PC is gonna be and until you actually sit down and look, you can find out how much the PC is. So basically I'm right now charging him for the setup, the configuring and all that. What you see here, we got Pinball FX3 and FX2. Awesome, easy, awesome stuff. Once I cut, he pulled the trigger, this took about a week to get in my hands. It takes some time and luckily he's giving me extra time to add more games. Now in this specific one, the actual seller did not include a keyboard or mouse. Usually they do. Um, I've gotten so many of, of these and so many of my regular like, you know, pre-built PCs. I'm just gonna give him a keyboard or mouse. Yes, granted these are wired. I'll be honest, these are cheap. Uh, I just have them handy. So I'm giving it to him. I don't have that all the time, but this is like a brutal keyboard. It's you have to really press the button like to press enter and such. Yes, you do need a keyboard and mouse no matter what. I am tucking it kind of away so it's out of the screen. I did tell him like, hey, you know, I do suggest getting you the game pad with the mouse. Uh, I have my bubble wrap here just to protect my paint over here. But basically now as far as the basic add-ons that I did with this, and I think it's pretty cool. Uh, let's go over the basics. I normally, I did, I did want to try it on my own. The first add-on is a PC game, which is known as Dead Containment. This is actually a shooting game. It's a shooter, uh, almost like House of the Dead. Does it work? It works. Is it flawless? Not really. As you can see, sometimes you might have to do a double click or a single click, but to reload, you have to actually hold down. It's a right click to reload, and because we don't have any mouse and keyboard, it is a right click to reload. So it's pretty cool. Graphics though are set to low. This does not have a dedicated graphics card in it. I did try to launch. I missed a shot. I missed a shot. So we got one. I got a reload, long press, and boom. There we go. Awesome. I did try to put House of the Dead remake on this. It was the computer was not handling it at all. It couldn't even launch it. So it's pretty cool. As you can see though, once I tap, it is a delay, so I am kind of hitting it. Again, he didn't request this. I just took that extra step. I was like, you know what? Let me see if this works. So I kind of have to go like ahead of the shot, really. Again, long press to reload. It does need a right click. And cool. Do I want to put this now on all, you know, the other people's builds? I have to reload, as you can see, and I failed. Is it fun? Cool. Is it really meant to be played like this? No, it's not. Uh, but it was worth a shot to add it. As you can see, like you have to wait for cutscenes and all that, I have to quit in the menu and it drops it. As far as like PC games, I did add a couple such as like Monkey Island. That's like a big thing. Again, all the PC games have to be known as point and click. If you go to Steam and you look up the word point and click, you can find point and click games. So I have Monkey Island 1, 2, and I even have the remake that just came out, so which is Return to Monkey Island. You may need a keyboard, you know, maybe just to type your name in, I don't know, but as you can see, most of it is flawless. If it didn't work, especially with the touch, then I wouldn't even put it. I did put like another one, like unpacking, which is kind of like a cool thing. I did put the remake of Oregon Trail, but I'll be honest, you do need a keyboard and mouse, because you do, you do need it. Uh, it doesn't really work well. It's really a game that's not only point and click, you do need a keyboard for it. And as you can see, I cannot proceed. I do have this because it's classic, it's old school. Like, you know, if you have the keyboard and mouse handy, cool. But this is also where me personally, like I don't want to add these games if they don't work. Uh, I am adding it to his, but you know, I'm the type of person where let me add it. If you don't like it, then you could just simply remove it. It's that easy. So as you can see, this is the first time that I'm launching it. And as you can see, I cannot press this. Vic, why do you have it? I mean, it's, it's an old school game and not to mention, I have the bubble wrap, that's why the mouse isn't that great right now. Uh, I, I have to mention that this is a tiny file. This is like a 500 meg file. It's not like 10 gigs, it's minor. So, you know, you wanna relive the classic, there you go. I'm right now just gonna Alt F4 out, or can I hit Escape? No, I can't. Let me grab the keyboard, and most likely an Alt F4 will exit out. Awesome. 
So now real quick, I'll show you one of the two add-ons that I did. One of them is Game House Max. This, somebody posted this in our Facebook group and was like, whoa, look at this. It's 150 games, it's a five gig file. So shout out to the person that made this. I will definitely post the download link down below. It is an old file apparently, but um, I never seen it. Somebody posted it in our Facebook group and that is honestly what got the ball rolling with touchscreen. Hey Vic, you know, I see the touchscreen and look at this touchscreen and all that. So that got the ball rolling. The only big thing is that once I sat down and I started playing with it, the games on this are not entirely touchscreen. Uh, there is 150 games and there's also Super Nintendo on this. You do need a keyboard and mouse for the Super Nintendo side of it. This is actually using, I believe it's um, BNES or, uh, or another emulator. But as you can see, like, I can't, it's not entirely uh, touch screen. Uh, not to mention if I want to Alt F4, I have to Alt F4 out of that. I haven't touched Super Nintendo because I know it's not going to work with the touch screen. But there are a couple of games that they do work with the touch screen. So far I played like one or two, like I was playing this Chicken Rush. And touch screen works, but in game it's a little wonky. Uh, you're probably better off using like a mouse for this. I'm going to show you real quick. Um, but basically again, this is really somebody it's game house. So to me, it's like pop cap as you can see like see I'm just tapping it and the player is kind of flying off the handle It works You know, it's cool Awesome, I'm gonna exit out with alt f4 really you have to play through the entire game Let's see like change Two. that's a very popular one again this right here like for me This is known as like pop cap games uh, Chains 2, Zuma, all that kind of stuff. So, can I get by? Nope, I need a keyboard. I didn't test this. I'm literally doing it live in front of you. It's just like I said, somebody posted it and, you know, why not? Give it a try. It's 150 games. You might need a keyboard. Okay, but at least you have 150 games. So, let's just see now how this goes. So, uh, oof. boom. So, a game like this, I could, I could touch this. Can't touch this thing in it. Like... This is cool, I'm all right with it. Menu, exit, done. So like I said, in the Facebook group, people thought it was all strictly touch screen games. And I'm like, no, there was a couple, there was actually like, I think it was like this one with the samurai. It needed like keyboard, it needed keyboard input. So as you can see, like I have to press play. Uh, it didn't go full screen, but I probably should have pressed full screen. I'm gonna just see here, see like it says here, move samurai with WASD. So done, done, we'll skip this, awesome. So I need a keyboard for this. Again, not awful, it's a five gig file. You know, I'd rather put it there, easy peasy. The next thing I did was Flashpoint. This is pretty cool, again, it's up in the air if I wanna keep this, but it did work. Flashpoint, if you don't know, this is an emulator that emulates Flash games, like me growing up, Mini Clip was a big thing, like Cartoon Network had like the games and stuff on the web browser stuff. That's what this does. This is Flashpoint. So why am I showing this off? What did I think of this? Going back, I remember back in the, and again, I do need the keyboard. There is a option to search. There is 177,000 games. That's a lot. And again, remember these are Flash games. So if I just look up the word shooter, right? It's not guaranteed that all of them are gonna be a shooter, but I'm gonna run this one, which is counter shooter. Basically, I have a whole list of games. You can even uh, list it by developer. So like Mini Clip, uh, they even had like Newgrounds. And basically, if I press the download button, I do need internet for this. It's gonna download the game and then it's also gonna launch the game. You may need to just go into view and full screen. And now I am able to enjoy more touchscreen games. This game was really like a, a mouse point and click type of game. But as you can see, I am able to play. Yes. It is a flash game, so kids nowadays don't really know what these games are. I mean, I grew up with these games and it's just awesome. I have to hit escape and exit. So you do need the keyboard, but again, it's just like casino to put your name and you do need the, the, the keyboard for it. And it's pretty cool. There's just a lot of games. You're gonna have to like sit down and kind of see what really is, like I was running this one before, which is Super Mario 3D Shooter. Who would have thought? Again, you do need internet for this. As you can see, I could go full screen on it. I'm gonna press the OK button. Again, these are web browser games. It's a, I never play this, but 
as you can see, there are some point and click stuff. You might even find some adventure games. I'm right now looking at shooting games. So I'm, I'm throwing stuff. Awesome, I'm gonna exit that because I don't wanna get hit with copyright, but as you can see with the music, there's a handful of games that even gives you the little like window on the side. I don't have to always do like full screen. I could just hit the square and you could still kind of have like the X there. So it's cool. 177,000 games. That is a lot of games. No, they're not all touch screen, but right now I'm loading up three games. Look, another shooting game. Awesome. Time bar. Cool. I don't want to, I don't care. Ready, set, go. And yay. Let's go. Ah, cool. Like, this is not bad. Come on, get him, get him. What happened? So it might need a double tap on it. As you can see, somebody did request that. They're like, Vic, I noticed that you have to double tap that sometimes. Yes. Some, I think it's really a Windows thing. Or as you could see, like before when I was playing the Counter-Strike game, it wasn't like that. It might be this actual game itself. But yeah, as you can see, though, as I'm going down, it's, I'm like missing them. But it's just one ghost. Listen, I make it work. That's like the cool thing out of it. And you can look up anything. There's even a little preview, like I said. It's just a cool thing. Why not? Let's, let's do this one real quick. Shotgun Shooter by Zappack. So this is now actually running Shockwave Player. I don't have the option to go full screen on it. Maybe I could go Control Enter. No, I can't. So this is gonna have to stay this small. It looks like I have to reload with the space bar. So maybe this isn't that great of a game, but let's see. It says reload with space bar, aim with the mouse and then shoot. So let's just see if I could just do it. Again, I can't go full screen on this certain one. You can see this flash and then like this S. I am taking the shot. And it needs like a double tap. But as you can see, awesome. I could exit out once I'm done and then it brings me back into the front end there. Last thing I'm gonna show off is Basics Blue Stacks. Uh, Derek did make, I told him, I always suggested, make a fake account, make a fake Gmail account. He is looking to add his actual real Gmail account for his games. I said, do that on your time. You know, I don't really want your password. Uh, you could always team viewer in and log in, but I'm the type where I'm gonna download games just to make, make sure it's all working accordingly and test it. So like, for example, like South Park, cool. And as you can see, it, there's an option here for full screen. It says there, if I wanna exit full screen, I need to press F11. It's cool. The other big thing, like I said, I'm giving him like this, it's free, I have them. My other thing when you, I suggest when you get keyboard and mice is that you do want one that has the volume controller. This PC doesn't have like a thing for like volume. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't get any music. But as you can see, I'm basically right now playing South Park. This is cool. I could take my apps now. I could close out the apps. I was trying a couple things like Solitaire. I did try Mario Kart on this and Mario Kart doesn't work uh, in Bluestacks. So not all the games will work, but for the ones that do, they do. It's cool. It's awesome. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but basically, once I'm done playing Blue Stacks, I can close Blue Stacks. And then this is a side one. This is like another version of Blue Stacks. So it's double window. And I'm back. Awesome. You could essentially use this as your regular desktop. I do have it connected to the internet. Like I said, for Flashpoint, you do need internet access. Now real quick, I'm gonna shut down the PC. I don't have to shut it down via Windows. I could actually shut down right here. There is a power button. I do wanna shut it down and then we're gonna do a full boot. I don't have the program set to automatically launch, but I do wanna show off the speed of the SSD. So I just wanna make sure it's off. See some lights on? Cool. Now it's off. Let's just give it a second. Let's let it go down. Again, it's just important on hardware. Somebody did message me, go, hey Vic, I have an old all-in-one lying around what can you do? So I asked him, what's the specs? And once he told me he had like a hard disk drive, I was like, nope. Uh, somebody was also gonna send me one that was a 256 SSD. My files right now, I believe it's at around 300 to 350. I just pressed the start button. So let's see how long it takes to boot on this PC. And again, because of the SSD, it's pretty quick. Again, granted, you know, compared to a hard disk drive. So as you can see, we're booted. That right there is because of the SSD and that's why it is very important. I don't have the front end um, set to automatically launch. You just hit the hand down here or up there and you're in. I also do add like the on-screen keyboard here, although like in front end, you can't really access it. That's why you will need definitely a keyboard handy. But 
All in all, that is really it. If I hit this button here, I could shut it down there too. And that is it. Another touch edition is set. Cool. Game on, my guys. Game on.